Illustrator comes with many different tools, some of them perhaps more overlooked than others. Uh, one of the tools that I think that uh, is not often used is the reshape tool, perhaps because it's sort of tucked away under, and I will quickly show it, the scale tool, shear tool, reshape tool. Now, it can be used with closed pass as well as open pass. The key thing is open pass, I think, but uh, I'm going to just quickly show you with uh, a closed pass. So I like some very basic circle. Right, now you've got that. I'm just going to quickly go to the reshape tool. And the key thing here is if you try and use it, it just moves around. Really doesn't seem to actually do much at all. Well, key thing is to actually just select just a little bit of the path. And then... Go to the reshape tool and then it will work so you can just drag that down it will just work for a part of it basically it becomes an open part of the uh, of the design of the uh, pass but uh, it's not particularly useful i mean it's 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 okay but uh, one of the key things which i'm going to show you next and that's using it with an open path and i'm just going to go just going to get rid of this one now now, of course, you've got an open path. So I'm not, I'm not going to use that one, though. No. Just going to delete that. I'm just going to quickly create a very basic standard path. Very, very simple. And I'm going to add a variable width profile to it. Just set the size so you can actually see it. Right. Simple as that. Now it comes into its own, the reshape tool. And, I mean, even there, it doesn't appear to particularly do much. But uh, so if you just drag it across you can just see it obviously you can just shape different paths in different ways i mean it's quite effective it's quite nice it, uh, it's quite smooth so sort of great little designs there but very usefully you can actually hold down the alt as you move the uh, reshape tool and i'm just going to do that now and as i do that you can actually see it actually creates another path, a copy of the path as you drag that across. Now, that's quite effective. It's great for, obviously, it creates a sort of three-dimensional design very quick and easy. Just going to get rid of those. Just going to go back to the basic one because I want to quickly show it as a three-dimensional way of creating a three-dimensional. Just going to drag that out, all down. Just creates a quick path there. Just drag that across. Drag that across. And I'm going to go back again. Just quickly do this. I'm just doing it very roughly. So, you know, should I just select that. Right. So there, you've got a basically an onion shape or a three-dimensional sort of globe-like design. Obviously, you could do it horizontally as well, as well as the vertical way. Right. Now you've done that, you can also which is the next thing that's quite nice about the uh, the tool. You can actually now go to the object, pattern, make, and then you, of course, got a pattern straight away with this uh, resample design. Well, unfortunately, one thing with the resample tool, the actual open paths are lost. It's all become closed, but uh, that's no big deal. So I'm just going to just turn that around. Size that, and you can create obviously a vast range of different designs just using the resample tool. I'm just going to come out of that. Well, I should save a copy quickly, click OK, then cancel. And when you actually go back to the pass, you've still actually got them as open pass. So you can now, of course, go to the I'm going to drag, drag that out slightly, move that around, and of course, now you can continue with the uh, resample tool. I'm just going to just do that. Just move it, twist it around and turn it around. And again, let's say you can create copies of that design again just by holding down the Alt, which is quite useful. So you can just drag that, it comes across. Oh, the other way as well. So you can create a fan shape very quickly and easily using the resample tool found in the toolbox in CS6 or CS5, CS4, etc.